Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how I curl my hair and this is the kind of final result that I came out with. I have curled my hair today with a straightener so I thought I would do a quick video just on how I do that. Again, if you guys don't know, my hair is very thick coarse kind of hair that does not like to be styled really. I found that this style just lasts a little bit better than other styles that I've tried before. I thought I would just do a video of it so I hope that you guys enjoy the video and before we get started you know what I'm gonna say please make sure to subscribe to my channel down below, like, comment, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff and let's get into the video. So my hair right now is just straight. It was washed around one or two days ago. I prefer to do this hairstyle or any curly hairstyle on my hair only when it's um, a day or two old. I find that if I do it on the day that it's actually washed because I'm using conditioners and oils and stuff in my hair it just doesn't hold curl that well. You're not going to need a lot of things to do this style. I would say is you're going to need a hair bubble of some sort, you're going to need a clip, you're going to need these as well which are just little pins. So as you can see they're just little pins like that so we're gonna use these to hold the curl in place and you're gonna need some kind of hairspray so the one that I'm gonna be using is from Elnet this is just that I think classic hairspray that they have. You can use whatever hairspray works well on your hair. This is just the one that I have. Finally, you're going to need a straightener. These are the ones that I own. don't know what brand they are or anything. I think that they might be Babyliss, but I'm not completely sure. If I can find out the details of it, I'll definitely put it down below. Any hair straightener for this hairstyle will do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what the technique is to curl your hair with a straightener. So this strain is off by the way before anybody says anything but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting one inch sections like so because we're going to start quite high up in the hair and we're going to basically do a twist and we're going to twist the hair until it's exactly one turn that's been done with your straightener and then what we're going to do is just we're going to keep hold of this piece of hair and we're just going to slowly make it go all the way down your hair. The slower you do it, the tighter the curl is going to be. And then once we have that curl, what we're going to do is we're going to sort of scrunch it up. And we're going to use one of the pins to pin it in. And we're going to do that with all of our hair. And then once we're done, we're going to let that cool. And then we're going to take the curls out. I find that when you have really thick hair, the best thing to do is to let the curls set. Once the curls are set, they're likely to last a lot longer. If your hair is really hot and the curl is just done and you haven't let it cool and you just let it fall, what's going to happen is it's just going to fall down and it's just going to go straight again. So that's what we don't want to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to pin everything up to make sure that everything is cooled down before we let it down and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be clipping it up as well so we're going to be doing this side in two sections up section and a down section and the same on this side as well so it's going to be an up and down section and then on this side we're going to be going clockwise so the hair is just going to go like that and then we're going to do that all the way down and we're going to do that to all of this side as well
Okay guys, so as you can see, all my hair has now been pinned up. There's still a few bits that were falling out, but to be honest, it's not really that big of a deal. You just want them to be up as much as you can, just to make sure that the curl doesn't drop and the curl can completely cool down before it falls. So now that it's all done, all you have to do is just wait for it to cool. To be honest, you don't really need to keep them in for that long. I would just say about 5-10 minutes is completely fine. You don't really need to keep them in longer if you have time then you know you can do whatever you want and you can do that I would usually do this and then I would do my makeup and then just take everything out so what I would do now is just take everything out I would usually start with the ones that were in for the longest so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take everything out and then we can sort of see what the end result looks like And another thing to do is as you're taking them out, as you're taking these little clips out, it's just good to give your curls a little bit of a twist with your finger as they come out just so that they set in place. So as you can see, I've took this one out now and now I'm just going to give it a little bit of a twirl and then let it fall. And before I go on to the next section, I'm just going to spray all this in place. Okay guys, so I have just sort of zhuzhed up my hair a little bit and I've just sort of pulled out or finger combed little bits of it. That's um, the end of the video. This is the way that it came out. I personally really like this look. I find that it lasts quite well. Again, I would probably have sprayed this one more time. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!